Okay. So, I have to go look at the caravan yet again because it's been a piece of bleep. Um, and I think it's uh, in relation to the EGR valve having poor flow. Which reminds me I should probably throw some carburetor cleaner in here in case I have to freaking take the whole thing apart again. I thought I'd just show you something funny. Uh, the catalytic converters in my truck are old. It just chucked this piece of cat out. Right out this side. <laughs> the good thing is they're not plugged solid, so. Yeah, honeycomb. Not even all that warm. I'm it just been running for like 10 minutes now and I'm holding it with my hand. Wow. Okay. <laughs> still smells a wee bit rich, but it's still warming up. I think the choke's probably still on. Oh no, no, fuck that song. I think that's what my, my exhaust has been, has been rattling. I think we're gonna take those cats out, because... <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh, I farted. Okay, so we've got three codes on this thing. We've got circuit high, uh, the 406. We got a 404, I think, and a yeah, 404, and then I believe a 403. Um, all pointing to this. Now I went, I took my multimeter, checked, and I got voltage coming from the for the uh, valve solenoid. Okay, and then these first two pins here on the left side, right here, these two. I got about almost 5 volts out of that, which is good. But I can't remember if this other pin here is supposed to have voltage, if not, or if it's supposed to have voltage and I'm not getting any, which is what it's showing, then there must be a break in that wire somewhere. So I'm going to uh, just go look at a video real quick on testing this, and then uh, I'll check back in with you in just a sec. Um, I think we might just have a problem with the wiring harness. Go figure, right? I'm gonna have to like cut all that open and just to find a broken wire. Um, so hopefully I don't have to pull this back out again. Okay, so I went, watched the video, went and checked all these grounds and powers. Everything works. The EGR control solenoid is getting power. Uh, even this, the actual solenoid's getting power, and then the two other things in there, they, everything gets, has got power. Power and ground. So now, with that, with that unplugged, and I ran it until it got a check engine light, this is, this is the codes it has with it unplugged. 403, recirculation control, blah, 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 recirculation sensor, A circuit high. Okay, so what we're going to do... Erase codes. Okay. Exit. Yes. I'm going to turn this key off all the way. Pull it out. We'll just leave that off. Let's see if it gets a check in your line. I got it all plugged in. I wiggle it around a little bit. We'll see it now. Now, one complaint that I was getting was that it was like jerking and chugging and stuff. So, go for a test drive. Okay, I don't have a check engine light just yet. Well, I know where to put our seat back at. That tube's already getting pretty warm, so I don't know if it's. It seemed like maybe it's, uh. 
it's just got it on constantly or something. It's really weird. But it idles fine. It, it purrs like a kitten. So, I don't know. This fan is a pain in my ass. Stumbling. <laughs> 